Welcome back to our finished CSR house. There are so many decisions to be made in the final stages of construction. What appliances, fittings, paint and landscaping will you need? And how do you maintain or enhance an eight star energy rating and still look good? We're hoping all the research we've done and the choices we've made will give you some valuable tips. A stunning entry makes a great first impression of your home. A stylish front door sets the tone for the rest of your house, so it's worth choosing carefully. Combining good looks with security and weather tightness isn't hard. There's so many styles to choose from. You can go for timber, fiberglass, composite, or even steel. We've chosen a solid timber Hume Savoy door for its larger scale and stylish presentation. Solid timber gives the best thermal insulation and if you make sure the seals are good, you won't get any air leakage. The toughened glass panels let some light in without being so big they compromise the door's thermal properties. We've used Hume wooden doors throughout the whole house as the company has a great environmental policy of only using sustainable or recycled timber. All the door hardware is from Gainsborough Hardware who have a great range of quality stylish products. Another door that makes a big impact on the look of your home is the garage door. It's about 40% of the front facade, so it's worth thinking about good looks and functionality. We've chosen a B&D EnviroPanel door for its fantastic insulating properties. Each insulated panel is made of two steel skins with an expanded polystyrene core. Good insulation needs good seals to be really efficient and the EnviroPanel comes with a thermal joint seal that runs the whole width of the door sealing gaps between the panels. The U-shaped vinyl extrusion along the bottom of the door seals gaps between the door and the floor. The jam edge seal minimises drafts and dust at the sides of the door. This means the garage can act as an airlock and your car won't get covered in wind-blown dust. The CSR house has a sophisticated automation system from Philips Dynelight that controls lighting, ceiling fans and air conditioning at the touch of a button. The remote sensor function allows you to log on through your computer or your smartphone to check the status of the house and remotely switch off lights or air conditioning if necessary. After dark, an occupancy sensor in this hallway will detect when someone's in the house and automatically turn the lights on. And the goodbye switch will turn all your lights, fans and air conditioning off when you leave, saving electricity when no one's in the house. Getting your lighting right is one of the most important elements of creating a welcoming and workable home. You need to have good general lighting to see by, good task lighting to work by, and beautiful ambient lighting to relax by. Choosing the right placement of lighting is important, but choosing beautiful light fittings is gonna give your home a large part of its personality. So how do you get the style you want and remain energy efficient? Most energy efficient types of lighting for home lighting is LED and energy savers, otherwise known as compact fluorescent. In the CSR house, we've used a combination of both LED and compact fluorescent lighting. LEDs save on energy consumption, and with longer lifetimes, you'll rarely need to change a light bulb again. In a house, you require different levels of light depending on the room and the environment. In the kitchen, we've gone for a high level of light for both task light and functionality. Under cabinets, we've used linear fluorescent lighting to offer task lighting without shadows or glare. And over the island bench, we've used compact fluorescent energy savers to offer a good functionality as well as good style. In the living areas, we've used LED lighting. We have rotatable heads, which offer directional flexibility and style. In the bathrooms, we've used Philips Aquafit IP rated lighting with stylish pendant and wall lights for visual interest. In the house is a stylish staircase. We've accentuated that with the use of LED strip lighting under the stair treads. We didn't use recessed lighting in the CSR house because we wanted consistent coverage of insulation. And so by using down lights, you are cutting through plasterboard and insulation and that creates a draft effect. Traditionally heating and cooling a home is one of the biggest drains on power and creator of greenhouse emissions. Fortunately, air conditioning design and technology has come a long way. And with all the insulation in this house, we shouldn't need much anyway. The trickiest part is working out how much aircon you need and where. The thermal modelling we undertook suggested that with our highly efficient building fabric, 
and by assuming some nighttime and daytime zoning within the house, we could halve the recommended amount of air conditioning. This saved us a bundle in upfront costs and of course will also save us money and energy for the life of the house. Reducing the amount of air conditioning required was a good start, but we still wanted to install the most efficient and cost effective units. The Actron ESP Plus are Australian made and they represent great value for the size of the unit. Their technological advances and zoning capabilities made them a very attractive proposition for the CSR house. We've been very focused on creating the most efficient building envelope possible and the concrete slab is an important part of the thermal performance of the house. For it to have the best thermal mass, it needs to be connected to the interior of the house. Any kind of insulating floor coverings like wall-to-wall -wall carpet directly on the slab is going to reduce that connection. We've chosen large format terracotta tiles with a cement based adhesive because they look great and are cost effective, but most importantly they give us the best thermal performance from the slab. Thermally coupling the concrete floor means it is in direct contact with the ground below. The ground under the house maintains a relatively constant temperature. This means it helps to regulate the temperature inside the house. In summer, the cool concrete will draw the heat away from the living space. In winter, the slab is able to absorb heat from direct sunlight on the hard floor surface. This will re-radiate at night, helping keep the house warm. And because what would have been a garage will now become a product display area for the house, we had the opportunity to try an alternative to tiles. A great option for environmentally friendly flooring is the great looking, renewable resource, timber. We're using Epoch from the Target Wood range. It's made of 99% natural, renewable materials. The flooring has VOC emissions 50 times below the European standard and formaldehyde emissions 10 times less than the E1 standard. Target has just won the Cradle to Cradle Silver Certificate, so it's a great choice for a sustainable floor. One of the biggest choices you'll make when it comes to finishing the house is what kind of paint to use. And I don't just mean colour. The most environmentally friendly paint to use is low VOC paint. VOCs, or volatile organic compounds, are the chemicals and compounds that give the paint that distinctive smell and the gases that go with it. But they're also what allow the paint to dry quickly and makes it durable and washable. So how do you find a paint that gives you all the performance you need and is still low in VOC? You could start with Dulux. We chose Dulux low VOC paint to provide a better air quality to the inhabitants of the home. It still has all the regular benefits of a conventional paint, so it's durable and it's washable and you can choose from a large colour selection. So as part of the Housing Industry Association's Green Smart program, we had to look at um, products that provided a low embodied energy and a lower a um, environmental impact. Dulux low VOC paint meets that criteria. The one room in the house that would have the most electrical appliances would have to be the kitchen. So choosing energy efficient appliances will make a big difference to your home's overall carbon footprint and your power bills. All our appliances are supplied by Hagmeyer from the Blanco and Amiga ranges. The refrigerator is from Amiga and quite apart from its four star rating, it uses eco-friendly refrigerants with a zero rating on the ozone depletion potential scale and global warming potential scale. All the other appliances are from Blanco, a company committed to environmentally friendly design. All their water using appliances are four star wells rated or higher and don't use any hazardous material in their manufacturing processes. Another area where some major environmental advances have been made is the kitchen cabinets and bench tops. Our kitchen cabinets are made of E0 MDF, a low VOC product which has lower formaldehyde emissions than other cabinet materials. The low VOC melamine coating completes the greenest kitchen cabinets on the market. There are a few benchtop options out there that use crushed granite, stone or quartz to replicate natural stone. The difference with the Smart Stones Nature Collection is that it uses vegetable polymers to bind crushed quartz. Quartz is one of the toughest and plentiful minerals around and combined with the biopolymers makes a very hard and durable surface that's better for the environment and looks fantastic. Upstairs in the bedroom, it can be quite useful to have some insulating floor coverings for that extra soundproofing and thermal insulation. It also adds an inviting, luxurious feel to the bedroom. But to maintain our environmental credentials, we need an environmentally friendly carpet. Godfrey Hurst Eco Plus is an Australian-made Traexter carpet. 
It combines innovative carpet manufacturing with breakthrough Serona polymer from DuPont. Derived from natural corn sugar, the polymer in Godfrey Hurst Eco Plus carpet contains 37% renewably sourced ingredients and has 63% lower greenhouse gas emissions in its production than conventional wool-based carpets. Obviously, the one place that has a major impact on your energy and water usage is the bathroom. So we've used the cube toilet and basin range for the CSR house and that's really because the design trend at the moment is more square and looking for clean lines and it's also easy maintenance. For our tapware to complement the cube toilet and basin we've gone with track and that's also because of the high wells rating. The wells rating uh, helps consumers choose water efficient products through the labelling system that is applied to each of the products helping them save water and money in their households. So by using a four star dual flush toilet, a three star shower head and four star tapware, the average family can save around $800 a year, which is a terrific saving. And did you know you can even get environmentally friendly mirrors? The Viridian Decor mirror gives a bright reflection without the use of any copper. All the glass products used in the CSR house from the shower screens, the kitchen splashbacks and the balustrading are all from Viridian. Part of an energy efficient home is for it to be low maintenance as well. One of the features we're pretty pleased with is the Viridian self-cleaning glass on this pergola. No one is going to miss that job. Low maintenance and low water were top of the priority list when it came to landscaping as well. The designer chose grevilleas and banksias, which are larger, taller growing trees, to provide enclosure and privacy to the perimeter of the garden. And then to provide layering, there were some shrubs and then ground covers in front of them. So we wanted to provide some contrast and colour to the paving. And we chose um, PGH wire cut pavers in two different colours. So we've got a peppercorn as the base colour and chestnut as the defining border and garden edging, which gives us that um, transition from the paving to the landscaped area. Now that it's finished, the CSR House will become a living lab to gather data for the federal government funded low carbon living project. As part of a collaborative research centre with the University of New South Wales and the CSIRO. The house has a full weather station installed on the roof and is wired up with over 140 sensors and three and a half kilometres of instrumentation cabling. Using these, we're monitoring heat flow through materials, thermal bridging across walls, internal temperature and humidity conditions, the subfloor conditions, the ground temperature and moisture levels, and energy usage of lighting appliances and the heating and cooling systems. The house has been and will continue to be a valuable learning resource for CSR. And hopefully we've helped you gain some insight into how to create a more energy efficient home along the way. So, an eight star house makes loads of sense environmentally, but is it worth it financially? CSR has modelled that the CSR house in seven star configuration should cost less than 5% more than a six star house and in the eight star configuration it should cost less than 10% more than a six star house. When you compare this additional capital finance cost to the operational cost savings in electricity and gas, you can be saving money from day one. Next time you're in the Sydney area, come and visit and see firsthand how CSR has combined their products and sustainability values to create a stylish, affordable and sustainable home. Or check out all the webisodes on YouTube.